He's Adam Sandler, actor, comedian, and uh, got a new Netflix special, 100% Fresh is the name of it. It's great. And uh, Sandman, uh, that, uh, that special is available starting today on Netflix. And uh, Adam Sandler joining us. Yeah. How are you, Sandman? Daniel, how are you? Good morning. I'm in New York City. I love you. It's fun to be here. What are you working on? I'm doing a movie, uh, the Safdie Brothers. You know who they are? I hear they're uh, really they, popular. They're really important. They're important with the uh, with the film community. And yeah. Now, now I'm a part of it. I'm a part of it. Now is this a now, film? Very nice guys. And you... they know their sports, by the way. They, they love you. They love Dan Patrick. But is this a film? Because you're normally in movies. Yeah, this is a film. They're shooting it on film. The, uh, they have to change uh, the mags every 20 minutes. It's not like the Sandman movie where you keep it rolling and you have a social hour in the middle of a take. These guys mean business. And then the Sandman's following suit. I got to do what I got to do. What's the name of the movie? Um, Uncut Gems. And it's uh, and I'm wearing a costume and every time I'm in it right now. And I'll tell you, this costume's pretty good. Less Less recognition for the Sandman on the streets. Less people saying, yo, Sandman to me. What do they say to you? Case. What do they say to you? In on the streets? Yeah. Well, since this morning, because the Netflix special came out, I've been hearing people who do recognize me. Thanks for the life changer, Sandman. That thing is the funniest thing. <laughs> I, couldn't, I can't believe what you've done for me and my whole family. Wow. That kind of wow. That feels good. Okay. What about, uh, Danny, what about my shirt in the, in the special? How beautiful it looks. You wore a Dan Patrick Show shirt that has all of our names on it, and I thought it was great. Yeah. And uh, Absolutely. It was emotional for us. We were very, very proud when we, uh, when we saw that. So thank you. We appreciate you with product I, placement I there. It felt great. It felt great. It felt more comfortable than the other shirts. <laughs> Did you notice I dressed a little better in the special you, than usual? You did. I was surprised. You weren't. I mean, you couldn't have gone worse. So I. I... <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I it was funny. I was doing it, and uh, <laughs> like I, I, been, I was shooting uh, every show I did, and every time we watched playback, I wasn't wearing makeup and I wasn't wearing uh, good clothes, and uh, I would show my uh, wife. <laughs> I'd be like, this is good. This show is good. This crowd's right. She's like, you look horrible. You look disgusting. And I'd say, well, yeah, I didn't wear any makeup. She's like, just put some of the makeup on. Everyone else does. So then the last eight shows or something, I wore uh, a little bit of something so I didn't sweat. And then I, uh, and then I had a nice uh, lady run around and buy me some uh, clothes that fit me for a minute. And there's a, there's a lot of songs in this uh, Netflix special. It's called 100% Fresh. And you know I love yeah. when you sing your songs, but is it, is it reasonable to expect a newer version of the uh, Hanukkah song? <laughs> there's no, I didn't do any Hanukkah song because I don't, I, I haven't had time to write the new oh. one. I, I, I'm waiting for Fritzy to hand me that one. Oh, you don't want that. No, you don't want that. No, it won't be as good as it should be. Okay. No, right. no. But, man, I'm still I'm still going to get you to do the Hanukkah song one time when you're on the I show. I, when I'm coming live, I have to do it, even if it's an old one. But I don't, I don't, have, a, uh, I don't have a new one yet, man. I, just, uh, I did th this special as all new material, all new songs, and then the only thing you bring up to me is the, my Hanukkah song. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Fritzy asked me if I would bring up, the back row asked if I would bring up if there was a new Hanukkah song. So, you know. I got it, you, boys. Got gotcha. you. That's, you. That's it. You know, I did, I did, I thought the uh, production, I thought the way it was shot, I loved the songs. Uh, I, I yeah. thought that that was, it was a, uh, it was 100% fresh is what it was, Sandman. It was really well Thank done. You, sir. A little cameo Thank with you. Rob Schneider. So, uh, yes, he got he got to fly. Uh, in, that we shot that in Newark, and he was flying in Newark, and uh, uh, he didn't get hurt, and that was good. When's the last time you dealt with a tough crowd? Oh, I, I, I you know, it's funny. For one of the shows, I, uh, I came on at, at the Improv in. in uh, in Los Angeles, in the in the little room there, they have a little room that's awesome, and I love it there. I was practicing my material there a lot, 
And so I said to uh, Steve Grill, who, who was the director, let's shoot a night there at the lab. And I went there, and when uh, and I kept saying, keep the uh, keep it dark though. Don't make it look like a whole camera crew's here because I just want it to be these sets that I just drop by and do stuff, and the crowd doesn't feel self conscious and blah blah blah. So then I get they go Adam Sandler, and I was upstairs, and I walk downstairs, and I see it's really <laughs> bright, and I walk there, and I'm looking at the crowd, and I and I, instead of saying hello to the crowd, I snapped for a second about it being light in the room <laughs> and uh and then i got i went to do my act and it, it was about a, it was about an hour 20 minutes of people hating me because i snapped up <laughs> snapped on top about the light wait so you lost the crowd right away oh they were looking at me like what, what what's he yelling at him <laughs> i didn't know he was that big of a prick and, <laughs> and, and yeah it was awful it was awful. It was a wasted evening for everybody. Wow. I thought you were up yeah. there with, like, uh, Sandra Bullock, America's Sweethearts, and, and that they <laughs> that people love you, Sandman. I bet I bet about – I'm batting 950, but the uh, the 50 is pretty rough. The Sandman goes pretty hardcore, and the crowd did not like it. No, it was just one sentence that I sat pretty hard on. <laughs> 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 but the, there were nice people in the audience just disgusted with my – Anger issue. Uh, you uh, you going to the Lakers games when you get done with your shooting? I'm going to. I'm yeah. going to. I, I watched the uh, first half last night. I had to go to sleep, but uh, it was it's fun to watch them, huh? It's it's just I know they lost an OT last night, but but I it's it's just fun. It's fun to see uh, uh, LeBron and and the, and the youngs up there together. The Coos kid was hitting every shot last night. That was fun. But are you still a Knicks fan, or is that gone? Yes. I'm all Knicks, all Knicks, but I, I, I know what's happening there, and, and I have to wait. Wait. I'll continue to wait for something great. <laughs> but I, I cheer them on every game. I, I, then, then part of me is like just getting last place so we can get a good pick for next year. You know, you don't want you, you to – they're not going to win this year, right? No. Um, if, if I had to guess. No. Uh, so, so you don't want them to lose a lot of games too, except when you're there. I can't. It's funny. I want them to lose just for a draft pick, but when I'm watching, I can't help but root for them to win. It's stupid, stupid man. He's uh, Adam Sandler. Like- His uh, Netflix special was 100% Fresh. That's the name of it, and uh, it's available starting today on Netflix. Who taught you how to play guitar? That's a good question. My father used to strum uh, guitar. He used to play uh, Malaguena, and he used to always sing Mariah. Way out west, they got a the smoke and fire. That song, he used to play it in his room. And uh, I would go down there, and he taught me some chords. And um, then uh, my father told me, actually, the, the guitar I play in the special is the one that my dad uh, bought me. My father said, if you learn note for note, Malaguena, uh, I'll, I'll buy you that uh, Fender Stratocaster. And I, and I practiced for about a year and got it down from reasonably close, and he got me the Strat. How many guitars do you own? I have, jeez, I don't know. I, I, they, I've been given so many great guitars over the years. You know what? Another guitar I play. You know the song Bar Mitzvah Boy that I play in the Yes, special? yes. The Bar Mitzvah Boy, I play a red Strat. Mark Knopfler gave me that guitar. That's pretty cool. The Dire Straits, Mark Knopfler. Any, yes, any yes, other uh, famous yes. guitars or people that gave yes. you the guitars? Who? Richie Sambora gave me a pretty badass guitar. Nice. Um, I stole I stole a guitar <laughs> from. Uh, no, no, no. That's it. No, but 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 Gibson Gibson loaded me up with guitars when I was on Saturday Night Live uh, back in the day. They they one of the I think GE Smith or somebody said to me, uh, "Hey, uh, they they want to play play a Gibson and uh, I, I sang the Turkey song or something. I don't even remember what it was." But um, uh, then Gibson called me up, and then throughout my whole SNL career, Gibson would give me guitars and stuff. And so I, I literally, I got, I had, I don't know, probably like forty great guitars. Nice. Uh, first concert you went to growing up in New Hampshire? Uh, my first concert, you said? Yeah. Molly Hatchet. Molly Hatchet. Ooh, flirting with disaster. Ham- yes. Yes. Yeah, they were traveling down the road, and they and they, they flirted with the Sandman. Whoa. 
Did but, you? <laughs> but it was at it was at New Hampshire College. Oh, I actually, my first one that was my first New Hampshire. My first live band was at Faneuil Hall in Boston. I saw the Four Tops with my sister Elizabeth. <laughs> That's kind of a weird date. <laughs> well, I was ten or eight or something. Oh, okay. But, uh, oh, okay. He was at. She was going to BU, and she brought me. And then I went. And then I and I saw who else did I see in New Hampshire? I saw the Black and Blue tour, Black Sabbath and Blue Oyster Cult. I saw Genesis. Uh, I saw. Uh, I saw the Outlaws. Green okay. Grass and High Tides Forever. Yeah. Charlie Daniels band I saw as a youth. Devil went down I to Georgia. All, yeah. He sure did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you, Danny? What was your first concert? Aerosmith. Oh, are you kidding me? At Hera Arena in Dayton. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. That's a cool one. How was it? Was was it the uh Aerosmith that was Hitting the sauce hard, or was it? No, a, no, no. This is uh, when they first started. Yeah, this was Dream On Aerosmith. Unbelievable. I had a unbelievable. I had an unbelievable concert run, where in the span well, of a, well, about four see. years, I went to see Stones, Who, Zeppelin, wow. and, and Bowie. Wow. Wow! Wow! How the hell did you get that going? I had friends who had a car, and they were big music fans. And uh, so each one, like one was a Bowie fan, uh, I was a Zeppelin fan, there was a Stones fan, a Who fan, and then, and then you just, you know, we'd get tickets and we'd go to see them. And so I, it was a pretty good run. You know, but I peaked after that. I mean, that was, that was it. That's, that's the biggies. That's the biggies. That's yeah. Insane. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I, I'm proud of you. Those are all great. Uh, but I got you beat with the Bowie of it all because you saw Bowie. I jammed with Bowie and Tin Machine. When I was a young Sandman, I was like 23 or 24, and they came by the show, Tin Machine, with Dave, David Bowie, lead singer. And uh, for some reason, they were they, we all hit it off, and they were having fun, and, they, uh, and uh, they, they were having a jam session that night. They said, come on by and play guitar, and I got to jam with them. Wait, what song did you play? I don't even know. We were just jammed on everything. We just, they were just playing any, a- anything, and it happened, and, and I was with the boys. Did you talk to Bowie? Crank, cranking it up. Sure, he was the ba- He was so funny and so cool and relaxed and loved him. Loved him. And he, knew, he knew, really nice guy. He knew who you were. I, I, he just knew that I was a young guy on SNL, and he was nice. Nice to like. He was one of those guys who showed up was was nice to everybody. You know, you, you, it, it was a fifty fifty thing if they were going to acknowledge the youngsters or not. But Bowie was so <laughs> so cool and funny. So funny. I uh, yeah, I love him. But, give me the give me the star that wasn't nice to the Sandman on Saturday Night Live. You can tell me, you can tell me now. <laughs> you want to know who uh, showed up and was com- completely turned his back on me? Anything I had to say, like uh, acted like I didn't exist, and I still hold the grudge. Yes, uh, David Spade. You heard me. <laughs> There's no way I would ever say anything bad about anybody. And nobody was that bad. But I'm just saying Bowie went out of his way to be nice. Did you meet Jagger? Of course. Of course. He's good friends with Lauren. So I, we all got to meet Jagger. McCartney. Everybody. Every Everybody we got to meet. That was, uh, I, I know them all. Are you going to mention my slick guitar lead that I played during the Chris Farley song? How I how I put that out there and, and, and nailed a Neil Youngish kind of lead. The the Farley song was really well done, touching, and I I it's it took me by surprise because I, you know, you and Spade, you guys don't talk. I mean, you talk about Farley, but then, you know, I, it always feels like there's, you know, un, unanswered questions that you guys don't have answers to. So when you did the song, I thought it was a, it, it was really well done. It was that that really I'm stands glad. out. I'm so- yeah, absolutely, man. I love love that. I love that for Chris and his family. And uh, yes, I I, I love. I I sang that uh, almost uh, every show, and without a doubt, the crowd crowd went the most uh, uh, had the biggest reaction to that because you just you loved them. Everybody loved them, and it's unanimous. You miss them, and uh, the, uh, uh, I'm glad I got that forever. It sounds like you're ready to start shooting again on your movie set, so uh, I'll, I'll let you be a professional. Yeah, I can hear some stuff there. 
No, no, you want to know I'm hiding on the other side of a building, and that's just some people setting up their restaurant. I, I don't, they're not oh. even acknowledging. I tell you, <laughs> that's got nothing to do with my movie. That's just people oh. putting tables oh, up. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you go in and just help the people out at the restaurant? I used to work around here at a place called Between the Bread. You ever hear of that place? No. I was a... Uh, when I was when I was 18, I was uh, I worked. Uh, I, I started as a waiter, and then they fired me. And I became a bus boy, and then they fired me. And <laughs> became a dishwasher, and then they got rid of me there too. <laughs> you, you can't get demoted further than a a dishwasher, can you? You know, you know what it was. How yeah, I know I was terrible to work with. Any time I showed up to work, my whole entire non-comedian career. The other person I showed up to work with was like, oh, God, now i got to do quite the work. As this idiot did. I'd be like, hey, man, what's up? Uh, hey, congrats on the special, and uh, hopefully we'll cross paths. We're going to be when – you shoot, when do you wrap with a movie? We're going to be in Los Angeles next month. I, I, okay, good. I'll be out there. i got three weeks here, more, and then I'm, I'm out there, and, I, and I'll see you out there, and then I'm going to do one of my movies that we wrote you apart. We got, we, we're working on, me and uh, Hurley here working on something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you buried the lead. So, I, you got a, yeah. your, your movie that I'm going to be in, and you're writing the script as we Not speak. A, you, have no, you, you, you have no future in film, but in the movie. Okay, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't go as deep as the Sandman. No, 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 no. I, I like... Uh, you had you've been in a couple of films though the love rain or me uh, punch drunk love those are films yeah. but everything else is pretty yeah. much a movie yeah it's just a movie man you can be in one of my just a movies <laughs> thank you well uh, you, you and the boys good luck with the special I, I, bud I, I love you guys all right, all right. thanks for thank talking to me and, and good luck good luck with the world series and uh who's gonna win that do you know I don't know if if I did then I you make don't know I think the Red Sox are gonna win but you, that pains you to say it, being a Yankee apologist. Yes, yes. Okay. But I do. I don't see. I don't see. You can't stop them. the the offense and their pitch. All right. All right. Good luck to All right. the Dodgers. Okay. All right. See you, bud. That's Adam Sandler. That's a Netflix special. One hundred percent fresh is the name of it. A lot of those songs. He's a good guitar player, and uh, the Farley song is really well done. It's touching. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.